concerned? What's, what's your what's your next big move? Can you let that let the cat out of the bag? Or I'm saying right now I'm uh in on people's mixtapes and albums and stuff because there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of underground <laughs> artists and stuff that's like they look at they looking for that. They're looking for that outlet, you know what I'm saying? I'm in front of all these rappers, and most of them are mad cool. Like, connected to like yo this dude want to do a track with you and like cool here's how much it is send the bread <laughs> send a track and just do it like that i'm working with this artist right now links dollar i sent him up with torch from uh made back music mm -hmm. he got a strip club song and I, put, I got diamond from crime mob on the hook mm. i got um who else Rick the villain buster rhymes artist he's on his mm -hmm. album too uh we working on mac main from young money and I'm gonna get him like two more features and get him some like local New York artists, put it all on the mixtape, have my name on the bottom, executive producer, birdspowtv.net. I'm gonna do the like the uh the little intro on the mixtape, 
have uh, DJ Techniques. That's uh, 2 Chains Titty Boys DJ mm -hmm. and Travis Porter DJ. Mm -hmm. He gonna host it. You know what I'm saying put it out there and then mad people's <laughs> gonna start hitting me up. You know what I'm just gonna keep using all my music connects. Cases this summer um, <coughs> at Iguanas in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. The first winner, he got entered in the Slow Bucks TV contest. You know them dudes with the with the snail on the shirt and the mm -hmm. beat. They had that contest. I'm saying you entered and you got a chance to win a hundred thousand dollars and people vote for you. I'm saying he didn't win, but he had the opportunity for people to hear his music and for him to get on another website and stuff. And I'm saying he ain't win, but whatever. He got in the contest. He always had mm -hmm. it as his resume. You know what I'm saying. Um, the second person, uh, A Cash, at the second uh, showcase, she's working with someone from Jive Records right now. Like, okay. she's real good. Her name's A Cash. She's from Queens. She's 18 years old. Um, she's got that whole, like, Lil Mama, Tiana Taylor type feel to her. Lauren Hill type. She sings, raps, dances a little. I'm saying she's Did she got. Twerk? Nah, <laughs> I, I, I don't really want her to do that. <laughs> I'm just about to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really want her to do that, but... Twerk yeah. team! Yeah, Big she, shout out to Twerk team. Yeah, Twerk team. Man. Don't talk like Twerk team. Definitely, <laughs> definitely in a building. <laughs> definitely. Twerk team is crazy, man. Twerk team is crazy. Yeah. Woo-wee! <laughs> but, um, yeah, A, a Cash is... Yeah, she's, she's real good, man. She, uh, I, I hope she, everything work out for her. She's, she's real good. She can really rap. She really sings. I'm saying we get in a studio. Well, awesome. You don't want to get wet. You get dumped on this nigga's point.
teams like between Miami, Chicago, mm -hmm. and New York and they had that one dude they was like yeah that one dude right there and all those pictures he could influence him it was in the world wide west yeah. the dude with the suit he's like in every picture but like, I kind of want to be that dude like I'm in every picture like over here over there over there like you don't know what he does but he's just using all his connects that he knows like if mm -hmm. you if you want a picture with Michael Jordan the next time you in a picture with Bill Clinton and the next time you in a picture like Bill Gates or something you know mad people so when yeah. someone comes up to you and they need something, you like, yo, I need this. And then you put your tax on it, and that's basically how you supporting yourself. And it's crazy. Like, all you're doing is you on the phone. They call him World Wide West. Like, he's all over the world. Like, mm -hmm. that's crazy. Yeah. Like, most of these people aren't doing that. Like, most of these bloggers out here, they just, like, groupies. They just go to artists, you know what I'm saying, do the shit on camera, do the interview on camera. And that's it. They just walk away. They don't even talk to them after. They just use it for the views. They're not a fan. They don't know nothing about them, nothing about their background. They don't talk to no managers. They don't do nothing. So it's like you just wasted time. Like you're in front of someone who could put you in front of a millionaire. That's what you got to think about. Mm -hmm. like if I'm interviewing Meek Mill, I'm like, all right, you're not, you popping right now, but right. you're not rich. But I could work with you. It's like, yo, how I get to Rose? All right, so you're mm -hmm. in front of Ross now. Then you're like, yo, you still with Def Jam? How I get in front of Russell Simmons? 